It seemed like pretty positive reports on your guys last Saturday. How did you feel like they played? Um, I think there were a couple things that were positives. I think uh, the guys played well together for the most part. We did have um, a couple of communication issues in terms of some identification and communicating that. Um, but they enjoyed playing together. They communicated well for the most part. Um, played well, I thought. Played hard early in the game as the game wore on. Uh, I thought we lost a little bit of that. Um, but I, I think overall it was a good first step. But there's so many things that we got so far to go on to. You know, um, I, I'm not at all pleased with our protection. And at times, some things that we did in the run game was good, but at other times, it stunk. So um, I, I feel like it was a positive in that we got three guys out there who got their first game behind them. And I think that will be a positive for them and for the group moving forward. And with young guys like that, you typically see a big jump from game one to game two. So I'm hoping that's the case. Do you anticipate Reese being back in the lineup? Uh, we haven't made a final decision yet. Have Coach Pelton right over here. Talk about how, um, I guess, how helpful was it for John and Chad to kind of be in there to kind of, kind of anchor that line, having played before. Yeah, that was really big, really big. And, you know, as you as you set things up as a line coach, you're always trying to put the right guys next to the other guys. You know, and there are some guys who have more experience and just have more knowledge and and can help guys out a little bit more. Although there are some young guys who are really sharp. Um, but they really helped out those young tackles and and to some extent too. Avery said when he, when he kind of first got out there, he was a little little wide eyed, and you told him he was nervous for three straight days. <laughs> <laughs> he seriously was. He kept walking around. Avery, what's wrong, man? Oh, coach, you just don't know. I was so nervous. <laughs> but then after the first series was over, you know, he was he was all smiles, and you know, he certainly um, has a lot of room for improvement. Um, but he got out there and he competed. And for a true freshman, playing in a game of that magnitude, your first college game ever, I was pretty proud of him. We had a couple of people talk about his, his block and the, the peel back on the touchdown pass. When you see a young guy do something like that, does that give you, give you a little jolt? Yeah, yeah. I think he's the kind of guy that, like I said, he wants to compete and it means something to him. You know, I mean, after the game, it, it hurt him to lose that game. He wasn't, he wasn't a young guy that was just glad he got his first game under his belt and feeling like he did pretty good. He was hurting that we lost, and that's the kind of guys I want. Avery had some good blocks. He didn't have any penalties. I mean, for a true freshman, his first game, fresh out of high school, did he kind of exceed your expectations at all? Um, I wouldn't say that. I would just say he was a little bit more, in terms of his play, probably about what I thought, in terms of his, um, the word has lost me, poise his ability to step into that environment and handle it, like you said, without penalties. Now, there were a few times he was a little bit late off the ball, maybe making sure he wasn't all sides, but that's better than the other, I guess. But, no, I, I'm proud of him. A, a good start. How, how good could he be? Um, I think he has the ability to be as good as he wants to be. It'll, it'll depend on how hard he wants to work and how hard he's willing to do all the other things off the field, you know, not only in practice, but um, watching film and you know he's just he's so raw in terms of his technique that you know sometimes he gets by with ability but that, that doesn't always work when you're going up against a really good player so he's gonna have to really really work to improve for us to to win the kind of games that we need to and for him to block some of the people he's gonna have to block in this league things stay pretty much the same with the other four even with maybe Reese back at center, possibly the other four are going to stay the same. Oh, the other four guys Office in their line. spots? Mm -hmm. As for right now, but we're not. Um, there are a couple other guys that are really working hard and pushing a couple of those guys in the first unit. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point this year we see somebody else either work into the rotation or maybe end up even winning a job. How did. Uh... Greg play on the other side. His Greg first did a good job. Well. He did a good job, just kind of like Avery. Did some really good things at times and, you know, made some mistakes at times too. And, you know, for him, it's funny, you know, we just kind of expect so much because you look at him and he looks like he's 
a guy that's been playing in the NFL for eight years, but he's not. He's a freshman that never played in a game before, you know. I mean, he's still a young kid that has no experience and still has a long way to go in terms of uh, his technique and knowledge of the game. But again, the sky's the limit with, with his upside. Going back to Reese for a second, uh, Gene is talking about the things that he has to do as part of the program to get back into the, the playing role and whatnot. Are there things specifically that he has to meet, the obligations he has to meet that you have for him specifically as a positional coach? Yeah, something? I wouldn't go into that in, in any detail beyond what Coach Chiswick said, but I'll just say that he's had to do a lot of things that um, will hopefully teach him a lesson. A confidence builder for, for the group and offense as a whole to have some success running the football and especially you know, having a couple of plays off the goal line to be able to, to knock some yards out? It was, um, but at the same time, you watch the film and we left so many yards on the field, I think. There were so many times we just didn't understand, um, again, who we were working to. They had a lot of, they have a lot, they had a lot of safeties down in the box, really. You know, he came in with, with one goal in mind, I felt like, and that was to stop the run on rundowns and um, did everything that, you know, uh, he felt like he could in terms of getting safeties down in the box, which sometimes causes you to re-ID things. You're counting an extra hat down there. So there were a couple times we didn't always ID that properly, and, and uh, that, that cost us some yards. But, yeah, a, a good first step.